Ever since I first heard about drones, I've always been fascinated by the idea that a drone could deliver packages for you. Because of the heavy regulations around drones, it will take a few years before drones will start delivering stuff to us. But since I simply can't wait, I've just decided to make my own delivery drone. A few months ago I started building a VTOL delivery drone, but that project has been put on hold for now. The VTOL drone is very complicated, and therefore I've decided just to start off with this simple quadcopter. The quadcopter is made from aluminum tubes and a carbon fiber center plate. The drone uses a Pixhawk flight controller to do the autonomous flights. The Pixhawk houses multiple sensors, like a GPS, barometer and a compass. It uses four 30 amp ESCs that are flashed with Simon K. They work decent, but I will replace them with four BL Heli ESCs instead. It uses four Emax 3515-650kV motors that can produce plenty of lift. The spec sheet says that they will produce around 2.8 kilos of thrust each. The drop mechanism has been 3D printed, and so has the battery mounts and the mounts for the landing gear. The drop mechanism is very simple, and it just uses a servo to release the package. The servo is then autonomously controlled by the Pixar. Time for the first test. I've made a very simple mission with just three waypoints. When the drone reaches the third waypoint, it will release the package. The package was so light that it was stuck inside the release mechanism. For the next test I just added some more weight to the package and then everything worked fine. The reason the drone is descending is because of the altitude at the first waypoint. And as you can see, everything works flawlessly. So what's up next? The drone has to be trimmed and tuned perfectly. Then I'll have to do a lot of tests to see how long and how far the drone can fly. When it's confirmed that the drone flies well consistently, I'd really like to deliver a few burgers for my friends. If you think that would be interesting, then please subscribe to my channel to stay notified. I also read and reply to every comment, and thank you very much for watching.